Hi everyone, it's Joanna Grant. I'm back again with just a short little video for you um, about how you can take jelly plate prints that you don't really like and turn them into something fun and funky. So what I have for you here today, this is a color photocopy of one of my gelatin prints. It's just ordinary copy weight paper and it is um, a color photocopy so the color is true and fast and won't bleed. And what I'm going to do is make this, even though I do happen to like this one, but as you know, um, many times you make uh, your jelly plate prints and you're not too happy with them. So sometimes you can keep working with them and they'll develop into a piece you ultimately like, but sometimes there's just no liking how they turn out. So here's a little trick that uh, might turn them into interesting prints for you. So what I'm going to do is take this uh, print and all I'm using is some India ink. And what I'm going to do, I chose India ink because it's so nice and dark and rich and gave me a true black. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dribble this down the top. And this will take a little bit to get going. You have to be fairly generous with your India ink. You could use watered down acrylics as well, but I wanted this to be black. As you'll see for these purposes. Ah, there we go. Now we're starting to run. Sometimes you have to help these along. So what I'm trying to do is I'm making long streaks of black to run down the page. And I'm not worrying too much about how they start or where they end up. I want them to be quite erose. I don't want them to look too uniform. You can see that the India ink is actually resisting some paint in some places. That's okay. And sometimes you help it get started. So I'm going to run this all the way across and I'm working on the top side of the short end of the paper as you can see. And this will work a little differently on a true jelly print that's covered in acrylic paints than this uh, copy. But this happens to have some paint over top of it too, which I didn't realize when I chose it. So we're just going to let all those lines run down. You can add a little more in the ink as you need to, to thicken it up, to darken it up if you want it really dark black. and they don't have to reach the other end of the page. And you can always go back when it's lying flat and just touch up those areas where you want it to be really sharp black. I actually like it with this paint showing through. I think that's kind of cool. So then what you're going to do is set this aside to dry or you can take your heat gun to it at this point. So I'll set that aside to dry. And then I'll show you another piece I have here that I've already worked on. And this is um, a true jelly plate print. It's all ink. It's not a copy at this point. And you can see where I have let the uh, paint, the India ink drip down the length of the page and let it dry. And then I also ran it down one side of the piece because I wanted to, it to be framed out in the black. Now the next step is we're going to turn this around 180 degrees and do the same thing from the other end. And this is a really fun part because what I'm going to be aiming to do here is to line up some of those drips from the first session with some drips that I am adding here. And I want them to kind of line up but kind of not too. And you'll see what I mean when I show you the finished piece in a few minutes. So again, you're just going to repeat the same process and nudge it along if you need to.
I'm helping this one a little bit because I'm thinking that's where it should end up. And then I am just helping embellish some of these lines as they meet up. You can almost draw with the dropper. It's kind of cool. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And then maybe just want to make this one connect to somewhere as well. There. That looks pretty cool. So I would set this aside to dry. And now it's laying down. I can kind of draw a little bit if I want to thicken up any lines. And I'll do this edge as well so I have a nice black frame around it and that will finish it off. And then you're probably wondering what to do with this once it's done. Well, let me show you a finished one. Here's a finished one. I really disliked this gelatin print uh, when I first made it, but then I um, came upon this idea, and what I did once the black had all dried is I decided to do some journaling and some zentangling in these areas that were created by where the drips connected. So I've done some journaling in here, I've done some zentangling. Um, the wording says bend but never break, I've just repeated that. I also turned it the other way and did more journaling that way and it says go with the flow, which I thought was kind of fun given the technique that we used here. And then just did some more zentangling through it. And this one I see I need, uh, I didn't take it out to the edge, but that's because I've got lettering right out to the edge. So I thought that was a fun technique for a gelatin print that you didn't really like too much. So uh, I hope it's been fun and maybe it'll inspire you to try this technique on some of your prints that you're not too happy with. I will hopefully see you again soon and thanks for watching with me today. Take care and we'll see you again.